I'm gonna to talk today about making cold brew on the road. My wife and I and daughter uh, are in Denver for 10 days and there's not really a lot of places nearby that have great cold brew. So whether you're in a place that doesn't have cold brew nearby or you just wanna make your own to save a couple bucks because let's face it, cold brew is pretty expensive. I'm gonna talk about how you can make it easily when you're on the road, on the go, and you only need a couple things and we're in an Airbnb and most of the stuff is here already. You will need to pick up coffee. Whole Foods has whole bean coffee and then you can grind it in the uh, grocery store itself. So you don't need to buy ground coffee, you can buy whole bean. Have them grind it there if you haven't done that at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or something like that. Uh, they do it right within the store and it makes it nice and fresh. And then the last thing we're going to use is... <laughs> the last thing we're going to use is a coffee pot and uh, the coffee pot is what we're actually gonna brew the coffee. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a three to one ratio of coffee to water. So for one cup of coffee, we're gonna do three cups of water. And I'm gonna make a fairly small batch today because it's basically the end of our trip, uh, but I wanted to do it for this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the coffee right into the coffee pot, and then we're gonna... <laughs> what we're gonna... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the coffee right into the coffee pot, and then we're gonna pour the three cups of water in there and that's where it's going to brew. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna do one cup of coffee to three cups of water and I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and just eyeball it because these coffee mugs uh, have the actual measurements on them. So for the one cup, it doesn't exactly show me where one cup is, but I'm just estimating that's about right. And I will mention that I did grind this in uh, Whole Foods with a coarse ground. So it is not finely ground, it is coarsely ground and don't stick your finger in it if you are so inclined, but it's a coarse ground coffee. There's one cup of, um, of coffee in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add three cups of water, and I'm just gonna do this right out of the faucet. We don't do like the whole, you know, freaking out about filtered water thing. And because I have one cup of coffee, I'm gonna go up to just about four cups. I'm gonna leave it at that, and then I'm gonna stir it. And I'm gonna stir it so that you want a spoon? And I'm going to stir it so that the grinds are mixed into the water nice and easily. Excuse me, nice and evenly. And heavy. Which will allow all of the flavors to extract from all those grinds. So no need to get crazy about the stirring. Um, and we're just going to leave this here for at least 12 hours, usually around 18 hours. And then tomorrow I'm going to show you what it looks like when we filter out with the cheesecloth. So it's the next day and our coffee's been brewing all night. We actually let this one brew about 20 hours because I wasn't really on top of it and didn't do it this morning. Because we have this coffee filter that is reusable and fits the coffee, that's reusable and fits the coffee pot perfectly. So by using the coffee filter, just as Macy demonstrated, we can pour the coffee into the glass bowl and then pour it back into the coffee pot with the filter on, which will filter out all the grounds and leave the cold brew within the coffee pot. So I'm gonna pour the coffee into the bowl so that it'll actually remove a lot of the grounds, but we'll also get the majority of the liquid out. So the reason I'm pouring it out is because now a lot of the grounds are already filtered out, which you can see in there. And then I'm gonna clean this mug out, put this filter back in, and then pour it back into the mug for a final filtration. I have cleaned out the coffee mug, and now I'm just gonna pour this back in, and it will filter right through our coffee filter. Unfortunately, it's dripping a little bit too. And boom, it'll take a little bit of time to filter out maybe. I mean, we still have some of the grounds in here, so that's one of the nice parts. But now this is this will be filtered out. There won't really be any coffee grounds in there whatsoever. You can take this cold brew, throw a lid on it, put it in the fridge, and now you have cold brew for your entire trip away. That's all I have for our cold brew on the road. Macy made this an interesting filming experience, but hopefully you learned something and uh, we'll be posting a lot more recipes and videos and how-tos for you cold brew lovers. Macy wants to go outside.